Hey, hello everybody. Well, we have some congratulations this week to Brandon and Faye who got their first Tiger Stripe, just the same as Patch here, and Sienna who's now got her second one. So if you want to get your first and your second Tiger Stripes, just see your mum or your dad or whoever lives in your house with you, um, check your emails, and then just see what you can do. And you can earn those at home. You just have to send me some pictures or videos of what you're doing uh, while you're earning your, your stripes. And I'll send you a certificate if you pass. So um, everybody pass the first stripe first time. The second one can be a little bit more tricky. You have to do some work for it. And Sienna didn't pass first time but she did pass the second time, so well done for having another go. All right, your third stripe, you need to wait till we're back in judo because of the things that you need to do here, but you can certainly do the first and second ones at home. Right, this week, we've got a story that Patch doesn't like too much because it's about cats, and it's called Scaredy Cat. So, this Scaredy Cat is called Oliver. And Oliver wasn't like the other cats in his pack. He, he had a group of friends and they were all brave and adventurous, but Oliver wasn't. He was a little bit frightened. They called themselves the Sly Pack. That was the name for their group. And Oliver was just called Scaredy Cat because he was afraid to try things out that the other cats would do. And he didn't really fit in, but he was he was in their gang now on Wednesdays there was a fish store nearby and they got fresh fish every Wednesday in the shop and they were always very busy so the cats used to go up to the back window and try and climb up into the store and steal the new fish which is really naughty and the store owner never noticed because he was so busy with all his fish stock and all his customers and he never really knew. But the journey to the window wasn't easy and the cats had to run past the guard dog. Now then, do you know cats have got nine lives? And when they were trying to get past the guard dogs, some of their cats lost some of their lives. But luckily, because they've got nine, they were able to get away. Oliver hadn't lost any of his cat lives because he was always too afraid and scared to make the journey. So weeks and weeks passed and the cats didn't even realize how many lives they had lost. And one day, the chief cat counted up each cat's lives. Each of them had only one left. Oliver had lost only one of his lives. So that means he had eight left. And that wasn't even his fault because a really mean cat had pushed him off the windowsill. But it was Wednesday and the sly pack didn't want to miss out, miss out on the delicious fish. Besides, they had made it safely across many times before, so today wouldn't be any different. Or so they thought. The cats in the pack made it safely to the fish store window. They quickly ate the delicious fish. Now they needed to get past the dark guard dog to get home. The dog had figured out their tricks and he had found his way up to the window. He was now only a few steps from the cats. The cats didn't know how to escape. 
Now Oliver watched the sly cats from the other side of the fence and they were shaking and frightened. He'd never seen them scared before. Perhaps just because they didn't have any lives left to spare. Oliver wanted to help and he knew what he needed to do but he'd spent his entire life being careful and he always knew how to get away to safety but he was scared. He crawled up the fence across the clothesline and got to the other side. The other cats realised that Oliver was showing them how to escape. So they followed his path and they made it to the other side of the fence before the guard dog could get near them. And they all thanked Oliver and realised that maybe being a scaredy cat wasn't so bad after all. So, judo makes us brave, doesn't it? Some of us are brave already. And some of us are a little bit scared sometimes. So, judo makes us brave, but it also helps us to figure things out when we're a little bit scared so that we can make the best of what we can do. So, hope you enjoyed the story. It's not always a problem being scared. Just try and be brave and work things out. Nanai. No, no.